Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So determine if this integral will converge or if it will diverge from 1 to infinity, from 1 all the way to infinity. So this is your 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 1 over x graph, and this is your 1 negative, negative 1 over x graph. And then uh, this line here is your sine x over x graph. Okay, so, so you've got a positive area here, a negative area, positive area. Well, will, will this integral converge or will it diverge? So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, we, we will later on ultimately need to um, integrate this. So use, um, use integration by, uh, by parts. So if you integrate, if you integrate this, it will then give you this whole thing here. So, hang on. So we're trying to evaluate this. We are trying to evaluate this. So our normal routine would be integrated from 1 to b and then let, uh, let b head towards infinity. So, uh, because this is an improper integral here, we would need to do it from 1 to b. Uh, and then, uh, and then now integrate this. It will then give you this thing, take away this thing here. So this is us using integration by parts, which is what we've done earlier up here, which is what we did here. Okay. So hang on. So to integrate this, to integrate this, it will then give you, uh, it will then give you this thing here. So now, um, now, now put this into here and into here. That will then give you this. And then put this into here and then put this into here. That will then give you this. Remember, we're, we're, we're taking the limit as b heads towards infinity. So, uh, so, oh, oh yeah, and this bit here is this bit here. Uh, so we, we, we're now looking at this. You've got one block plus this block. Take away this block. Now let's let's try and you know, let's try and understand this block here. As b tends towards infinity, well b tends to infinity. This thing here is just going to oscillate between negative one and one, negative one and one. It's just going to oscillate uh, back and forth. Well, as b heads towards infinity, this is going to be massive. So it's like uh, it's like. Uh, this is like 999 here, and then you've got something that oscillates. Well, as B heads towards infinity, because this thing here oscillates between 1 and negative 1, this thing's going to be massive, then the overall thing here is going to head towards 0. So this thing here is heading towards 0, and then this is just really cos of 1. So that's, that's you putting this into here, into here, that gives you this. This bit here is just cos 1, and now we need to understand this. Um, as b heads towards infinity, so so let's try and draw this graph here. Let's try and draw this graph. So you've got um, you've got uh, your one. Uh, you, let's try and draw this graph here. So you've got one over x squared. Draw your one over x squared. It would look something like this, and then the negative version here. And then you've got cos uh, cos of x. It's just gonna it's just gonna uh, it's just gonna be a wave trapped inside. 1 over x graph, x squared graph. And then, uh, but we remember, we're not really evaluating at 0, so we don't really care what happens dead on 0. So, uh, so beyond, beyond, year, beyond 0, it's going to be a finite area. So, uh, so, so you've got this area here. Well, we don't care, this is going to be finite. Remember, we, we are just trying to determine if this will converge or if it will diverge. So, so here you've, you, you well, when when you when you look at this integral here, you um, you are really interested in this area here, and then this is a negative area, and then you add this area, take away this area, plus this area, take away this area. Because of this, the area is going to oscillate between between uh, positive, uh, positive, negative, positive, negative, and so on. But um, to really, uh, to for us to really determine if this is going to converge or diverge, we're going to determine this. Even though the area, even though what's happening is you're, you're going to get this area, take away this area, plus this area, take away this area. Let's let's just consider, let's just consider the absolute value here. So let's just instead of having a negative area, let's just consider a positive area. So so you're going to get this area, add this area. Add this area, and then instead of taking away this area, let's let's just add it. Let's just say you add it, and then you add this area and so on. So this negative area, instead of it being a negative, let's just add it. It turns out that this area here will converge. Um, so 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 what what so so to to really um, to really determine if this is going to converge or if it's diverge, we're going to consider this. 
let, let, let's just look at this bit here. Let's just look at this bit here. Let's just look at this bit here. Well, this area here. So, so this this area here is really it's really this. It's really this. Take away this. Uh, plus this. Take away this. Let's just say. Uh, let, let's now consider this area here. Let's instead of negative now consider this. So, uh, so consider this area here. Plus this area here. Plus this area. Plus this area. Plus this area, and then. Plus this area, so um, so this area here has to be less than or equal to to the absolute value of this thing here. Okay, so so this this area here is has to be less than or equal to this area here. So so this area here is this bit here. Bear with me. Is this area here? This take away this uh, plus this take away this and so on. This area here. This area here is really this area. It's really this area plus this area plus this area plus this area. So, so, so you, so we can see that, um, we can see that this area must be greater or equal to this area. And then, uh, and then if you look at this bit here, this bit here is, well, cos of x looks like this. Well, well, this is going to be trapped in between zero and and one. This thing here is going to, it's just going to oscillate between zero and one. So we can say that this thing here is definitely less than or equal to to uh, to this thing here. This is trapped in between zero and one. So if we, if we this is trapped in between zero and um, and one. The lowest that it can be is zero. The highest that it can be is one. So let's let's select the highest. So so now we can say that this has got to be less than or equal to this thing here. Well, we've seen that this thing here converges. So therefore, this will converge. So therefore, this will converge. So therefore, so therefore, so therefore, the whole area here will converge. I hope you can follow that. So the the, the trick is really, the trick is really, um. Well, when you come to evaluate this, the trick is really uh, in uh, in rather than looking at this, we uh, we we're going to look at the absolute value of this. So that that's the trick there. Uh, and then, as it turns out, this area will converge. So uh, so therefore, the whole thing will converge. So uh, so the answer to uh, to this question is that this uh, this will converge. Okay.